Good day everyone. After we talked about the brief history and introduction of painting of our dearest classmate, this time we're going to talk about the elements of painting. But before we start the discussion, I have some trivia on how did paintings begin. Did you know guys, paintings began some 20,000 years ago early. Human grounded up earth, charcoal and materials and use the colored powders to create images on key balls. Sometimes the powders were mixed with saliva or animal fat to form a fluid, which was blown through reeds or applied with fingers. Now, let's proceed to the discussion. Everyone, what is painting? Painting is the practice of applying paint, pigment, color, or other medium to a solid surface. The medium is commonly applied to the base with a brush, but other implements such as knives, sponges, and airbrushes can be used. In art, the term painting describes both the act and the, and the result of the action. This time, we're going to talk about the elements of painting. Elements of painting are the basic components or building block of a painting. In Western art, they are generally considered to be colored, tone, line, shape, space, texture, composition, direction, and the size. This time, we're going to discuss the first basic elements of paintings, which is the color. Color, an element of art made up of three properties, the hue, value, and the in intensity. Color presents when light strikes an object, and it is reflected back into the eye reaction to a hue arising in the optic nerve. <coughs> The second element is the tone. Tone refers to the re relative lightness or darkness of a color. One color can have an almost infinite human of different tone. Tone can also mean the color itself. The third one is the line. Line are mark moving in space between two points, whereby a viewer can visualize the stroke movement, direction, and intention based on how the line is oriented. Line describe an outline capable of producing texture according to their length and curve. The fourth one is the shape. Shape is a flat area surrounded by edges or an outline. Artists use all kinds of shapes. Geometric shapes are precise and regular like square, rectangle, and triangles. The fifth one is a space. A space refers to the distance between the area around it and be between shapes, forms, color, and lines. A space can be positive or negative and includes the background, foreground, and middle ground space play essential rules in the overall success of a work of art. The sixth one is the texture. Texture is the perceived surface quality of a work of art. It is an element of two-dimensional and three-dimensional design and is distinguished by its perceived visual and physical properties. The seventh one is the composition. Composition, the arrangement of the visual elements in a painting. We have eight elements of composition are in Western art. The balance, contrast, focus, movement, pattern, proportion, rhythm, and unity. The eighth one is the direction. Direction is an important aspect to design, no matter the medium. All of the painting's elements must have light. Falling of them from the same direction or viewers will be confused. The last one element of painting is the size. Size refers to the scale of the painting itself 
as well as a skill of proportion within the painting's elements. Let's have a short recap on our discussion which is the ninth element of painting involving with color, tone, line, shape, space, texture, composition, direction, and size. Before I end my report, I just want to leave a quote about painting by Pablo Picasso. Painting is just another way of keeping a diary. I am Jean Canet Naves Lajau, B. Edwan. Thank you.